So w when Papi was started 18 years ago, what were the goals? Well, the goal, the goal was uh, to, uh, uh, to improve the care and support uh, and treatment for people living with HIV. And with, uh, with the advocacy on uh, access to treatment, so the goal. But at the time when we started, there was, no, there was no visibility of treatment, there was no available, so we really fought hard, fought hard, fought hard, fought hard to, to access this treatment. So we actually uh, managed that, we actually successed in that, uh, in that area of advocacy. In the 18 years of PAFP, uh, what are the achievements that you are most proud of? I'm, the, the achievements that I'm actually proud of is like the uh, sustainability of the uh, volunteers. For 18 years, somewhat, uh, it's increasing by numbers. So I'm very proud of the commitments of our young people and also the community, particularly those living with HIV and affected families. So that's I'm very proud of it. And of course, the volunteerism of the uh, the board of directors of the Baptist Foundation, which come from different uh, different institutions, so they are volunteers, and mostly is to deliver uh, on the. Uh, care and support and treatment for people living with HIV. Like for example, we have the longest uh, place in the Philippines for people living with HIV, which is our two drop-in centers. The one of the first and the longest uh, 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 drop-in center in the Philippines for uh, people living with HIV. But there remain challenges? The, uh, the challenges is quite a lot. Uh, challenges are always get along with your movement. Okay, one is the funding. It's, it's rather expensive because I think uh, now uh, we're focusing on care and support and treatment but uh, a lot of families are you know, diverting their funds to something else. So that kind of, you feel that that's a huge, huge challenge. How can we sustain of the organizations in terms of provisions of uh, uh, treatment and care and, uh, and support as well as uh, treatment, uh, how call it, advocacy. What are the future plans of PAFP? The future plans of PAFP is, uh, you know, the, we have quite a number of sustainability like uh, partnership with, uh, local, uh, with uh, local agencies, government agencies in providing migrant workers uh, HIV education. So we are partnership for long term. So there is a sustainability of that because there is economic involved in terms of our services. So that's been there for the last 15 years. And also, uh, the, uh, uh, we're looking at the other sustainability, like we are doing a lot of training for health workers. So health workers, which is uh, in partnership with the Department of Health, uh, uh, Department of Health um, uh, coded uh, masters uh, health educators. Okay. Uh, the Philippines continues to be one of the countries with an increasing rate of HIV infections. Uh, do you think we're doing enough? Uh, no. We're not doing enough. I mean, what I'm saying about that, they, uh, there should be uh, strong collaboration among our uh, partners in terms of uh, addressing the problem. But of course, you cannot, the partners cannot only end all NGO, but again, it's to be super uh, headed by our local government and then from both the national down to the local. We need more services, particularly on the uh, testing centers all around the Philippines. Because the numbers increasing is quite scary. No? If you would not be able to control it, they will face the consequences. How are you going to the problem? So knowing that the country, there's a stigma attached to HIV, you know? There's a stigma for politicians, there is a, there is a non-involvement uh, uh, non of politicians. So these are the things that factors that uh, we need to really uh, you know, include, uh, in, uh, address the uh, address that we are facing right now. So collaborations, not only the NGOs, but collaborations from, from the local down to the national, particularly the political, uh, political leaders in, involvement in, so, in terms of political will. That's the thing that we need. And we have to provide, at the same time, we cannot segregate, uh, uh, we cannot segregate treatment and, uh, and, and testing. So we always have to merge the two private, uh, two areas of uh, our uh, our efforts. Yeah.